learn from your own mistakes. And number eight, encourage yourself to try new things. Those two steps are connected. So we're going to talk about step number seven first. Learn from your own mistakes. And a lot of times uh, people feel guilty, shame, and they, instead of learning from their own mistakes, they're giving up. So in, I'm offering you to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I do differently next time? What specific result do I want to achieve? So instead of feeling bad, instead of feeling shame, instead of going into those negative emotions, turn on your logic. This is uh, very good when we have and should use our logic. So instead of going and um, you know feeling all those negative things, start thinking, what can I learn from this experience? And then it will be easier for you not to give up on yourself. Because once you will analyze your mistakes, once you will think, what can I do differently? Then you can learn from this mistake and then you can move forward. And the next step is encourage yourself to try new things. And this is very important because if you're going to stuck in your negative emotions, if you're going to stuck in your bad feelings, then you cannot move forward. So when you ask yourself, what can I do differently next time to avoid this mistake? You can start learning new things. So when was the last time when you tried something new in life? When was your last time when you actually did something new in your life? Maybe learn the new skills. If you never try, then you can never know the outcome. So allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow yourself to do silly things. Allow yourself to learn new, to learn new skills and allow yourself to enjoy the diversity of this world. Once you're gonna allow yourself to try new things, once you're gonna allow yourself to make mistakes, you will criticize yourself, criticize yourself less. And you will allow other people also to do mistakes, also to do silly things, and you can enjoy this life together. You will be able to see new opportunities in life. You will be able to meet new people. Uh, the more new skills you, you learn, Mm, the most skillful you're going to be. So you can apply those skills in different areas in your life. And of course, one of the areas is finances. So if you learn something new and you go to your boss and you talk to your boss and say, hey, you know, uh, I decided that this skill will benefit me at work and I would like to learn this. So I've learned it already. You know, the boss will promote you faster. 